Durbanites are not the only ones who can master a classic lamb curry, although they are pretty hard to beat. <laughs> but with the right recipe, you can also make a knockout dish. So today, we are showing you how to make our version. And rumor has it that adding that extra bit of oil and spices is what takes a lamb curry from good to great. So we've got our spices, olive pride, olive oil, and Chef Jay on standby. Yeah, MZ, and uh, firstly, welcome Dr. Ritabile. It is an honor to have you in the kitchen. Are you a curry fan? Of course. So I'm so happy to have you by my side I'm today. excited to learn as well. <laughs> See your pig. So, Nyama. 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 There we go. Nyama. Oh, the good stuff. Now we're using lamb today. There's so many different ways of making curry. Lamb is one of my favorites just because it's just such a good meat to cook with. So we're using two different cuts today. We're using the shoulder and we're also using some knuckles. Now I always, when I make lamb curry, knuckles <laughs> yeah. are my jam. So knuckles give you the bone marrow, adds that Your flavor. Your mouth is salivating. It is, it is. <laughs> and the shoulder has a beautiful amount of fat and it's not as tough as the leg. So we're going to use those two cuts today. But Z, of course, we've got to start the curry off. What is the one way to start the curry off with some oil? Yes, absolutely. And oil is literally the soul of a curry because it, it, it sort of brings all those ingredients together. It coats everything in the pot. And we're using the Clover Olive Pride blend Love today. That. And this is great for curries. Yes. Um, so I'm just going to pour some into our pot over there. And you know what, Jay? You know some mothers can't cook. So this is a good way also of them learning how to exactly make and also for the kids out there to yes. learn how to spoil Definitely. your mom as well. so i'm learning as well <laughs> <laughs> amazing so we've already browned our meat off in the pan and that's why you you see that color coloring at the bottom mm. real caramelization on your meat yes. first is always a good way to start so in with our onions we've got fresh ginger and garlic yum and then we've got some fresh curry leaves if you can find these amazing if not you can get dried curry leaves you could okay. use some bay leaves as well cinnamon stick okay and we're going to go in with two red chilies and give that spices a stir. are important right so it's... important mm. and we're using a combination of whole spice and ground because with a curry you really want to build you know flavors because it cooks okay. slow and slow for a long time okay. so you really want to build on those flavor profiles so we've got ground turmeric, ground mm -hmm. cumin, and ground coriander. So we're going to toss that into the pan. I'm actually just going to raise the heat. And you can already smell how aromatic and yeah. fragrant it is. And those spices, the combination of them with the chili, with the cinnamon, really give that warming feel when yes. you eat. And yes. The quantity, Jay. The quantity. Quantity. So, you know, when I was growing up, mm -hmm. I was never given quantity. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Leopold oh, cheese, yes. or, you know, yes. so it really just depends how on tastes. how you prefer it, yeah. right? So we're going to go in now with some tin tomatoes. Okay. And I generally like to use fresh tomato that I grate. Okay. That's just how my, my grand Your mother did it or your granny, you know? yeah. Um, and then toss that into the spice and then we're just going to use a little bit of water just to bring that together. And then the last step is just to add your meat. And I can't wait to get these knuckles because <laughs> just to sit. I can see it's just juicy to sit, already. Just to sit and suck that bone marrow yeah. out. One of my favorite yeah, parts. Yeah, you look super excited, <laughs> but I think maybe the, maybe doctor needs to taste something. I think so. We've got a generous <laughs> amount. So doctor, are you going to give this a taste for us? Z would, if you wouldn't yes. mind, just handing one of those These over. These are so beautifully displayed. And this is. There you go. There you go. There's your lamb curry and a fork. Mm. And we've got some naan bread that we've made by hand on the side, some nice basmati rice, nice sambal, and yes. we've actually um, fried some of these curry leaves as a garnish. Oh, yeah. lovely, mm. lovely. Nice on top. Nicely. This is mm. lovely. Are you enjoying it? Yummy. Not too spicy. Not too spicy. I think I would have added more spice okay. because I love spice. Well, that's like, the fun thing about yes. a curry is that you can make it your own. And I hope that you're going to make it your own this Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. Of course. <laughs> of course, it's my dish for Mother's Day. Amazing. <laughs> well, there you go. Get into the kitchen and discover your love for cooking and spices by making this classic lamb curry and rice. To get the full recipe, go to afternoonexpress.co.za. Experience the new face of Clover Olive Pride Oils, your same trusted choice for premium olive oil. Same great formulation, fresh new look.